Hello, hello, good evening. Can you hear me well? My day and Roberto. Is anybody there? Hello, hello. Okay, I'm testing the microphone quickly just to make sure that everybody can hear me. So <clears throat> let me know if you can hear me well, if the volume is okay. Okay, Elena is here too. Good evening, Elena. Hi, teacher. Hello, good to see you. Now I see Margarita connecting to the session. Hello, Margarita, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, the volume is okay? For you, because I'm using my uh, earbud, like just to avoid problems with the microphone, as the last time. Okay, so now Isaac is connected. Okay, perfect. So we're going to get started with today's session. Um, I hope that you had a good day and that you had time to study or to practice a little bit, right? Remember that is something that you have to do frequently to study and practice the language. That is the best way to see progress, okay? Uh, the class is important, but it's also important that you dedicate some time uh, to studying, to practicing, to reviewing some things, to investigating a little bit uh on the internet right so you have a lot of resources online websites applications um videos audios recordings right so many things that you can use uh there are people that you can probably contact right to chat or to have a little conversation uh, through a video call for example so those little uh, actions can help you, okay, to, to improve and learn faster, okay? That is part of the process, okay? It's part of the process and you have to remember that, you have to know that. Now we're going to um, get started and I am going to just, Share something quickly. Okay, so um, let me see, nobody else. I don't know what's happening to the rest of your classmates. They're not here. They're coming later, probably. Uh, let me share the screen. So what did we do yesterday? What do you remember from yesterday's class? Maide, let's start with you. Okay, no problem. One moment, please. Sure. Conversation uh, and invi invitation. Okay, the conversation was about an invitation. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Anything else? What topic did we study yesterday? How can you make an invitation in English? Can 
remember that we have a, a specific verb that we practiced yesterday in the conversation. And we were making some examples. We were uh, giving some examples in conversations using the verb. Dun, 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 dun. Loida and Sonia, welcome. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Loida. I think you good had evening, some teacher. connection problems yesterday, right? Good evening, Sonia. Yes, I can make it. Yeah, I noticed that, that you were trying to connect, but it was not possible. Okay, so let me um, refresh, refresh your mind about the topic by showing you this part, okay, right here, the grammar focus. So um, what is the bird that we were practicing? Wolf. <clears throat> yes, that's correct. Would you like? So normally, yeah, we say, would you like, right? Would you like? Because the person is going to say yes or no, right? So um, it's an option. It's an option. It's an invitation. So you don't know for sure if the person is going to accept or decline or reject, right? The invitation. That's a possibility. Um, when you accept, you have different ways to, to say yes, right? Um, you can say, yes, I would. Yes, I love to. I like to. Thanks. Um, I really like to go. Or I really like to um, do that. Okay. Um, if it is no, if it is no, uh, it's not recommended. It's not advisable that you say, no, I, I don't want to. Um, so instead of saying no, you can answer uh, with expressions like, I'd like to, but, okay? So then you say the compliment, right? I like to, but I have to work late. I like to, but I need to go to another place at that time. I like to, but I want to go to sleep early. I feel tired. Um, so there are different ways, but Saying no is not the, the most polite way to do it. So remember that there are different expressions that you can use to say no. Um, let's practice, okay, let's practice. Um, Elena, would you like to, um, let's say, have dinner, would you like to have dinner with your best friend uh, on the weekend? Yes, I would. I can read your lips, but the microphone is off. <laughs> the microphone is off, Elena. Oh, pardon, pardon. Uh, okay. Dinner, cena? Uh, yep. For mi mejor amigo? Uh -huh. Would you like to have dinner with your best friend on the weekend? It's not an invitation. I'm just asking for an opinion, right? Would you like to? Like. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm just asking about your opinion, right? It's not literally um, an invitation that I'm making. Okay. Um, Isaac, would you like to play? Well, you like to play softball. I remember. Would you like to play softball with uh, me on Saturday afternoon? I would like to uh, play softball with you on Saturday. Okay, so you say yes, I would like to play soccer, play softball with you on Saturday. Okay, excellent. Um, let me see, Margarita. Would you like to um, watch a movie? Uh, in class tonight? <laughs> mm, I can understand, teacher. I'm sorry. Would you, okay, one more time. Would you like to watch a movie in class tonight? Yes. I really like to go. I really like to watch watch a movie okay so in this case i really like to watch the movie <laughs> so uh very good now welcome victoria milena veronica and teresa 
Okay, so ladies <laughs> power in this class. <laughs> okay, uh, that's basically what we were doing, right? And we had the conversation between Dave and Susan uh, where Dave was inviting Susan to go to, um, to a soccer match, okay? And she accepted, okay, she accepted. And well, that's it. That's what we were practicing yesterday. Mainly, we had also a little, a couple of activities to express opinions. Uh, in this case, you mentioned your favorite singers or music bands. You can see your classmates answers here, right? The winner was Ricardo Arjona. <laughs> uh, we reviewed the previous session, okay, about uh, your favorite music, uh kind or style uh, actor actress singer etc 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 okay and today we are going to continue with the with the topics so let me stop the annotations clear everything and let's go on okay now um we have a little practice a little exercise to practice this after this, we are going to have a mini quiz, okay? So uh, remember, practice makes improvement. Not perfect, but improvement, okay? Uh, that would be like, la practica se la mejora, okay? The more you practice, the more you improve. Um, here, you're going to respond to three invitations and then write three invitations for the given responses. Okay, this is different. You see, one, two, and three, you have a question. So you have to write an answer. Four, five, and six, you have an answer, but you have to invent the question for the invitation, okay? So uh, for this exercise, I am going to ask you to please take a screenshot. You will work in pairs to complete the exercise, okay? You can copy the answers and the questions in your notebook but you can discuss with your classmate. Maybe you don't understand something, but your classmate can help you, right? To complete uh, the question or the answer that you don't understand so well. If you have doubts, if you need the help from the teacher, you know you can ask uh, for help. It is possible in the breakout rooms. So right now, take a screenshot. Remember, number one, two, and three, you are going to write an answer. The answer that you want. If you want to say yes, okay. If you want to say, I like to, but that's a polite, no, that's a no cortez so, um, amable. So um, in number four, five and six is the opposite. You have an answer, but you have to write the invitation. For example, for example, number one, I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? Hmm, Saturday, no, I have to go to the dentist. So I'd like to, um, imagine that I'm copying, right, my answer. I like to, but I have to see the dentist. I have an appointment with the dentist on Saturday. I'm sorry, but thanks for the invitation. Okay, that's a, com a long answer. Okay, now let's suppose that I'm completing number four. Yes, I love to. Thank you. Uh huh. What invitation can I make? Uh, maybe for Valentine's, right? Okay. Uh, would you like to have dinner with me on Valentine's Day? Because you're my best friend. That's a question that I'm going to ask. Okay. Question mark, and that's it. So you are going to invent the answers and invent the questions but they have to make logical sense, right? They have to make sense. So any questions about this exercise? Yes, no. Not to show. No? no, okay, Victoria, Milena say no. Okay, perfect. So if there are no questions right now, you are going to the breakout room. Karen Heyman, welcome. Okay, let me check this out. Okay, you are going to have exactly five minutes, five minutes to write. 
You can speak, of course, but it is important that you also write down the answers because you need to practice a little writing, okay? Not only listening and speaking, you have to develop the four skills, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. So we are going to have six breakout rooms. Let me check. Uh, hmm. Okay. So we're going to make a little modification here and we're ready to go. Okay, so I hope that you have the screenshot. We go to the breakout rooms, five minutes. If you need extra time, I will give you one more minute, but that's it. When we come back, I am going to ask for six volunteers to share their answers and their questions. Ready, set, and go. Let's practice. Accept the invitation, please. All right. Margarita, Maide, are you there? Okay, Margarita is gone. Now we're just missing my dad. My dad, did you get the invitation? Okay, perfect. Pensé que yo no le tomé no le tomé captura al anterior. Ok, ahorita comparto. How do you say no le tomé captura? I am not sure. Maybe I don't talk. At... I didn't. Screenshot, I didn't, ok. I didn't take, uh -huh, I didn't take, or I didn't get a screenshot. Ok, there you have the teacher. Ok, excelente. You can All right. see? Yeah. Okay. Uh, number one, I have ticket to the baseball game. To go. Hello. Hello, teacher. Did you take the screenshot? Yes. Yes. yes? Okay. Would you like to come? To come over for dinner tomorrow night. Yes. When they say come over, it's like come to my house. That that would be like like uh, the meaning, right? Come over. Okay. Uh huh. That's an invitation to go to the house to eat dinner. Come over. <laughs> No quiere comer, no quiere cenar mañana. No. What? No quiere cenar mañana. Oh, okay. So, you, would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? That like come to my house, right? That's an invitation to go to have dinner to his or her house. Okay. Uh -huh. So, if the answer is I like to, but that's a no. Okay, I'm sorry yeah. for you, Isaac. But... Um, would you like to I know I don't know I really like to see would you like to come with me to the party I know I, I asked the, I asked yes yeah, thank, yeah, thank you I would like to see it I would like to go. Okay. okay. Very good. Oh, yes. Hey. Thank you. I really wait. Which question are you working on? Ah, number the last six. one. No, number six. Number six. Number yes, number thank six. you. I really like to see it. I really like to uh -huh. see it. Uh-huh. So the invitation has to be about seeing something, right? Like things. Uh-huh. Right. Uh, no. uh -huh. Would you would like to see a movie with me? To see a uh -huh. movie with me? 
Ajá, ah, Spyro, okay. I don't know. Yeah. Yes, thank you. I really like to see it. Okay. Hello, Carla. Hello. How are you doing? Fine. Ah, perdón, este, no, 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 este, aquí, aquí ingresando tarde, pero ingresando. <laughs> okay, that's the most important, that you are connected now. Uh, your classmates are working on a little exercise, uh, mm -hmm. number, the letter A, okay, so they are answering some questions and they are making some invitations. Okay. For example, I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. On Saturday, would you like to go? Um, ay, no, pero... Tengo que contestar si sí o si no, ¿ya? Ajá. Espérenme, ay. You, you can see these examples, okay? Yes, ah. I would. Yes, I love to. Thanks. Yes, I really like to go. Or I like to, but I have to work late. I like to, but I need to save money. I like to, but I am sick. So you can give a reason for not accepting. Okay. Solo que no vi la pregunta. Quiero ver bien. Okay, I repeat the question. Would you like to? Would you like to go to the baseball game on Saturday? Baseball? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Okay. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Uh, yes, I would. Okay. Uh, yes, I like to, or yes, I love to. Thank you. Uh huh. Would you like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? Um. Yes, I like to. Yes, I like to. Concerto. <laughs> to a concert. If it is a Perreo concert? No. <laughs> no. Oh. Or you say, I like to, but <laughs> me gustaría. Okay, aunque no sea verdad. I, I like to, but I like to. Um, um, I have the COVID, so no. <laughs> okay. Ricardo Arjona. <laughs> huh? Ricardo Arjona. I like concert, yes. Ah, you like Ricardo Arjona. Okay. So you say like, I like to, but I have to go to uh, Ricardo Arjona's concert. I'm sorry. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> Very good. So your classmates are coming back right now. Okay. Uh, we see Teresa, Roberto, Elena, Dinora is here. Welcome. Um, who else? Who else? Victoria, uh, Milena, Veronica, Karen, Margarita. And I think that in a moment we're going to see Loida, Isaac, and my dad. There you are. Okay, perfect. So, uh, did you finish the six um, statements, the six exercises? No. Yes, no. no. Yeah. Okay. Some people, yes, yeah, some people, no. Don't worry. We're going to share what we have. I'm sorry, Loida, I'm sorry. Okay, now, uh, let's go with number two because I gave the, well, I gave the example on letter, I mean, number one, right? So, um, let's see, Loida, can you please ask the question, uh, number one to Milena? Okay, I have tickets in to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? Milena? I would like to, but I have to work. Okay. Now we continue with the next one. Isaac, can you please ask the question number two to, check to Elena? Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Okay, um, Elena. Um, yes. Um, yes, I like. 
Yes, I like to. Okay, oh. very good. Yes, I like to. Isaac is a chef. Oh. So you, have, you should go. Okay, let's continue with the next one. Teresa, can you please ask the question number three to Margarita? Tengo una consulta. Uh -huh. dijera, What's the question? Me encantaría porque así celebro mi cumpleaños. ¿Cómo puedo hacer? I love. Okay, so you can say I love to, and in that way I can celebrate my birthday. So. That's one option. Mm -hmm. That way I can celebrate my birthday. Yeah. Okay. Let's continue with the next one. Okay. So, um, number three. Or three? three. Okay. Uh, would you like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? Yes. Okay. I love to go. Thank you. Yes. I love to for go. Inviting Thank me. You. <laughs> for inviting me. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me. Okay, very good. Let's give some cla claps to your classmates. Okay, don't forget that we can use reactions, right? Even though it's a virtual class, we can still clap. Okay, so we continue with the next question. Number four. Uh, Victoria, can you please ask the question to Dinora? Um, would you like to go to the beach with me? Oh, nice. We like to go to the Tunco Beach. <laughs> In order? If Dinora doesn't answer, we're going to invite somebody else, okay? So, uh, invite, well, the question is for Carla. Carla? Would you like to go to the beach with her? Eh, yo la respuesta. Uh -huh. Just yes, read, I number four. Uh -huh. Yes, I love to, thank you. Thank you, excellent. Number five, let's continue with number five. Eh, Veronica, can you please ask the question to, let me check, to Ana Maria. Hello, hello. Okay, I think that we lost connection with her. So, Ana Maria, can you please ask the question number five? Whatever imitation, in this case, you can invite Sonia. Okay. Sonia, would you like to go to the party? Would you like to go to a party tonight? <laughs> Tonight. Sonia? Dios mío, nunca activo el micrófono. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. Ay, Dios. Um, well, I like to, but I have to study. I have to study English. Okay, that's correct. <laughs> okay, excellent, Sonia. Thank you so much. Uh, Karen, can you please ask the question number six? Any invitation to? No. Ah, you didn't. I didn't do number six. I didn't do number six. So Karen, you can answer the question. Who wants to invite Karen? Who wants to invite Karen? Question number six. The answer is yes. Thank you. I really like to see it. Okay, to see it. La invitación es a ir a ver algo. Any volunteer? My dad. Would you like to go to see a movie with me on weekend? Okay, Victoria asked. Oh, no problem. So, Karen? Yes. Would you like to go and see a movie? I really like yes. to see it. To see it. Okay. She didn't say when or at what time, but you say yes. Okay. So, <laughs> that's all right. Um, Excellent. So one more round of applauses to the volunteers. Okay. Um, let me check. Here it is. Now, um, 
If you want to practice more, the kind of practice that you can have is, for example, think of three things you would like to do and then invite a partner to do them with you. Your partner is going to ask follow-up questions. Okay, something that you have to, to know uh, when you are having a conversation with someone, if, I mean, you are learning English, right? And one of the things that you are going to do with the language is to talk to people. So when you have a conversation, one of the most important aspects that you have to remember is that to keep a conversation flowing, okay, para que se mantenga la, la conversación fluida, okay, que no se corte, you need to ask questions about the topics that you are discussing. Okay, so for example, hi, uh, nice to meet you, my name is Freddy. Oh, nice to meet you, Freddy, I'm Emilio. Uh, do you study here? Yes, I do. Um, and what do you study? I study medicine. Oh, really? And in which year are you? I'm in, in the fourth year. Oh, wow, that's really interesting. And do you live close to the university? Um, no, I don't. I live far, uh, but I stay here in the city. Oh, really nice. And do you work or just study? So if you see, that's uh, an ability that you need to develop, right? An ability that you need to develop. That is to, when people answer something like, for example, what's your favorite color? Oh, my favorite color is blue. Really? Why do you like blue? Why, why is that color mm -hmm. special for you? So you need to know how to ask questions about the information. For example, if you are like, hey, what do you do, uh, Isaac? And he says, oh, I work at La Caja de Crédito. Oh, nice. And um, what position do you have in the company? I have this position. I am the manager, for example. Wow, that's yeah, interesting. Yeah. How long have you worked there? Por cuánto tiempo has trabajado ahí, right? So that yeah. is the way that you, that you keep a conversation flowing, okay? By asking follow-up questions. If you see here, is the key, the key word. Follow-up questions, follow-up questions, okay? So uh, yeah, in boy. this case, in this case, uh, wait a second, I hear some, I hear a voice. Um, what you're going to do is to make an invitation to your classmate, to your partner, and then you are going to ask a specific questions. For example, um, ask me an invitation, okay? Ask me a question. To any place to do, uh, to watch a game, to go to a party, to have dinner, whatever you want. Pregunta. Yeah. Using would you like, right? Okay. Would you like favorite uh, music? Would you like? Favorite music? Uh, in this case, that wouldn't match. That wouldn't match. It has to be an invitation. It has to be an invitation. Like, would you like? Would you like to come to my birthday party? Would you like to come to my birthday party? Okay, that's an invitation. Um, when is the party, Victoria? It's on weekend. On, on the Saturday. weekend. Uh, on Saturday. Uh, in the morning or in the afternoon, or at night? In the afternoon at three o'clock. In the afternoon. At three o'clock. Three o'clock. Okay. Uh, and where is going to be the party? In my mother's house. In your mother's house. And what time is, well, you said that it's going to be at three o'clock. What time is it going to finish? Approximately. Maybe, maybe approximately at 80, eight. At eight. Okay. And can I... Can I bring a present or it has to be money? Uh, I prefer money. <laughs> okay, you prefer money. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. can you please send me the, the location? Yes, I will, I will send, yes, I will send you my location. Okay, 
can I invite someone to the party? Can I go with someone to the party or just me? No, just just you, please. Okay, okay, perfect. So thank you for the invitation, Victoria. I will be there. Okay, okay. excellent. So that's what you're going to do right now, okay? Van a ser como detectives. No solo van a decir, sí, quiero ir. Van a preguntar, ¿dónde, a qué horas, con quién, en qué lugar, a qué hora termina, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So, um, and please take a screenshot, okay? These are some examples, right? Uh, these are examples, but you can ask more questions, okay? So these are just some examples that you can use. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So, um, ready? Okay, you got the screenshot. Remember, you are going to ask, you're going to make one invitation, only one invitation to go to the movies, to have dinner, to go to a party, to go to a soccer match. Okay, but before you, I mean, not only say yes or I love to, but you have to ask specific questions. Okay, um, so that's it. When you finish, you change the role. Okay, first you ask the question, you make the invitation, and then you are going to answer the questions and ask follow up questions. So it will be in the breakout rooms. I am going to give you just let's say three minutes or four minutes maximum. So here we go. You're going to be with the same person in the breakout room. Let me check if everybody's here. Yes, okay. So ready, set, and go. Okay, there you go. Oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. I'm, I see that some people just join us right now. Uh, so I'm going to recreate the breakout rooms. We need more breakout rooms for the participants. We got seven, 16 right now. So yes, we need two more breakout rooms. Seven. And that's it. Check. Here we go. Okay, perfect. So Ready, set, go. Now, yes, you can accept the invitation. All right. I see everybody joining the conversations. Excellent. Elena, Kevin. Elena and Kevin, can you hear me? Okay, Elena is gone. Kevin, what about you? Okay, so I'm going to move Victoria with Isaac. Yes, I would like. What what movie it is? Uh, Uncharted is the new one for um, the ¿cómo se llama este actor? Sorry, I, I, I forget the name. But Which the name movie? Of Uncharted. Uh, Uncharted. I think oh. it's from Tom Holland. Oh, Tom Holland. Okay. Yes. My father. What? Him is my father love. Favorite. No, father love. Ah, father love, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yo pensé que quería decir favorito. Ah, this, uh, this dancing. I like me. I love I me. I, what do you want to say? What? Me, me encanta? <laughs> That's what you want to say? No, I love to do dance. So, yeah. <laughs> ah, so in this uh, case, you have to say, I love his 
I dancing. love kiss. Ah, le estaba dancing. diciendo que a ella que me encanta. <laughs> I love me, it's like, me amo a mí misma. Ah, yeah. oh, okay, yeah. oh, sí, eso también. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, no problem. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, sí, I love uh, him or I love his dance. Uh, I, that's correct. I love him, his dance. His dance, okay. Hello. 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 Did you finish? Um, más o menos. So, so. Estoy aquí questions? queriendo preguntar. Sí. Estoy queriendo okay. preguntar qué ruta de bus me lleva a Santa Ana. Ah, ok. So, you can, you can say which route uh, can I take? Ah, which okay. route or which bus route can I take? Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Apes. Good. <laughs> Hello, did you finish? Karen and Linda? Yes, okay, perfect. So we're going back to the main session. See you there. Okay, so everybody's coming back and we're going to continue with the next exercise. Okay, so um, let me see how many people are back. 12, so we're missing around three more. Okay, perfect, so everybody's back. So here we have the last exercise from this page that is writing a text message. As you know, when people are chatting, especially um, teenagers, right? They have some um, secret uh, messages, all right? Or, or different ways to, to communicate. So one of the things that they use uh, is the abbreviations. So um, for example, how do you understand this message here? Let me show you this message. How do you understand this message? It's a question, it's an invitation. Would you like to see a movie tonight? Uh-huh, like to see a movie tonight is an invitation to watch a movie, very good. Like two, the number two, right? Um, let me point it out. Two, the number, right? Uh, C, the letter. A movie, two, night. Would you like to see a movie tonight? So there are different things that, are, that you can see uh, in chats or on social network like Twitter or Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Uh, snapshot, right? So maybe you, okay, Milena, you have a question. In this este case, no es necesario, no llevaría el, would you like? No, because it's informal. It's informal. Okay, thank you. Yeah, teacher. it's informal. Yeah. So uh, some of the most common ones that you will see is the letter U, for example, that it's U, um, R, the number four and the number two are very common. Uh, late, if you see the letter L and number eight is late. W and eight is wait. Great, GR and the number eight, great. Uh, thanks is THX, thanks. Love, right? For example, love is only L-U-V. Uh, night. Night, that would be another word uh, to refer to night. And other things that you can see, uh, for example, is when people write just I-L-U, for example. 
What is I L E U? I love you. I don't know. I love Maybe. you, right? I love you. Uh huh. Uh, so there are other expression, other abbreviations that you can see. Uh, for example, one that is very common is T T L eight R. What is that? Wait, it's missing one letter here. Any idea? Nope. This will be like talk to you later. Talk to you later. <laughs> So, uh, hablamos después, talk to you later. Uh, so, to say goodbye, for example, they just say, see you, right? See you, uh, for example, tomorrow. See you tomorrow, okay? Like that. So, this is informal, right? This is informal. Uh, another, another, uh, another one that is really, really, really common uh, is, B T W. Any idea? By the way. By the way. Por cierto, by the way. We have a test. Okay, today. Okay, by the way, you have to complete the platform until the section number four, by the way. Okay. And uh, another one that is very famous is, is F Y I. FYI, any idea? For your information. For your information. For your information. Uh -huh. You see, probably you already use this. Probably you already use one of these. Okay, FYI. And another one that I like is TMI. Okay, TMI. That is too much information. Too much information. Like, don't tell me more. Too much information. Okay, um, another one that the teenagers use is be uh, right back, I think. It's be right back, B-R-B, be right back. Vuelvo pronto, be right back, ya vuelvo, be right back. So that's another one. So that's really common in chat, okay? In chat or social networks. Uh, now that is very popular, for example, uh, people say P-O-V. There is even one song, I think, that is P-O-V. That is point of view. Punto de vista, point of view. Okay, so those are just some examples about different ways that you can reduce your texting, right? Um, in the present, right? With people in English. Now, let's continue. Uh, those are some examples. You can look for more abbreviations for text messaging online on Google and you will find a lot. Now, uh, let's go on. Likes and dislikes. So we're going to be finishing with the, with the topic with this survey. As it is a survey, what is a survey? What is the translation of survey? Any idea? Survey. What's the meaning of survey? Uh huh. Encuesta. Encuesta, right? That would be a translation. Encuesta. So it's a set of questions that you ask to collect information. So in this case, we have three, six, nine questions. Listen and repeat after me. When do you usually watch TV? When do you usually watch TV? Remember that normally with the WH questions, we have falling intonation. When do you usually watch TV? What kind of programs do you like? What kind of programs do you like? Number three, do you like reality shows? That goes up, right? Rising intonation. Do you like reality shows? Do you listen to the radio? Do you listen to your radio? Do you? You can say connected like do you, right? Do you listen to the radio? Who is your favorite singer? Who is your favorite singer? 
What do you think of salsa? What do you think of salsa? What is your favorite movie? You can use a contraction. What's your favorite movie, right? What's your favorite movie? What kind of movies do you dislike? What kind of movies do you dislike? You don't like it, right? And the last question is, do you like science fiction? So in your notebook or in agenda or piece of paper that you have, you're going to, um, if you want, you can write your information, okay? And then you are going to answer or write the, your classmates information. So you are going to practice this conversation or this survey. Ah, oh, TVT, that's another one, huh? Um, so, um, some people, well, it can be like throwback time, right? Or um, it can be just 3B, I mean, TB, throwback. Um, and that's what you're going to practice right now. It's only speaking, right? But you can take notes, okay? About the information that your classmates provides to you. So I am going to recreate the breakout rooms, okay? For, for you right now. And then we're going to have a little quiz. Let me check. Okay, yeah, I think that we're good. Perfect. So take a screenshot. Well, if you, I think that you already did that. So right now you just accept the invitation and you have your partner already connecting to the breakout room, okay? Very good. Elena, you're going to practice with Victoria. Teresa, are you there? You're going to be practicing with Veronica. Okay. Okay. Did you get the invitation, Teresa? Okay, perfect. Okay, Carla, so solita. <laughs> we're going to practice together. Don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry. So okay. um, that's the, those are the questions. You can ask me the questions right now. Um, who is your favorite singer? Uh, no, I mean, the questions that are here in the list. Ah, who's your favorite singer? Okay, my favorite uh -huh. singer is, um, I don't know, maybe, uh, I will say, I don't know, uh, in the present, I like Ed Sheeran, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> mm. What do you think of salsa? What is your opinion of salsa, Carla? De bailar. <laughs> what do you think of salsa? Is that a good? Is that good music? Ah, it's okay. Boring. What is your opinion? Um, I like. I like, you like salsa. salsa. Okay, yeah. excellent. Ask me another question, please. Um. Um, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Avatar. Okay. okay. And okay. what kind of movies do you dislike? Um, The science fiction, no like. Science fiction, you don't like science no. fiction, okay. No. Um, ask me one question. Uh, when, do, when do you usually watch TV? I usually watch TV on the weekends, on the weekends, and sometimes during lunch. Mm -hmm. okay. um, do you, do you like reality shows? Mm, so like sorry. keeping up with the Kardashians or something like that? 
No. 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 Big brother. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. no. Okay. No. Um. Ask me one more question, please. Um. Did you listen to the radio? To the radio. Only when I'm driving. Only when I'm driving. Uh huh. Uh, but normally, no, I don't listen to the radio uh -huh. because the majority of the time they just play perreo music, so mm -hmm. I don't like that or commercials. <laughs> so, uh -huh. no, it's not so good. <laughs> okay, uh, so nice to practice with you, Carla. El que, perdón? It was nice to practice with you. Um... It was good to practice with you. Fue bueno practicar con usted. Ah, okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> See you in the main session. Okay. Everybody's coming back. I've had my microphone off. And right now I am going to share a link with you. So that link is for the quiz that we are going to take, okay? To practice the would you like to, would you like to? That's the topic that we have been working on since yesterday. Okay, let me share the link through the chat, but everybody else is still in the breakout rooms. So they're coming back. Oh, we forgot about another abbreviation that is very, very, very common in, in chats or in social networks. That is LOL, LOL. Probably you have seen that before. Laughing out loud. Right, like riéndose carcajadas. When something is really funny and you don't want to use ha 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 ha, you can just use LOL. That's another uh, variation for chats. Now, I am going to uh, share the link with you uh, through the chat. Now everybody's here, I think. Yeah. So open the link so that you can join the quiz that we are taking right now. Okay. So this is the would you like to? This is the enter game code. So you just have to type your name, right? Loida, Roberto, Victoria, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Would you like to? That is the question. That is the, the topic of the of the quiz. Okay, excellent. Good. Sonia, my day. Okay. Ana Maria, Carla, perfect. So we have three, four, five, six, seven, ten players. Okay. Just open the link that is in the chat, please, and then enter your name, and we're going to start the quiz. Ready, set, and let's go. <laughs> Okay, would you like to have the options there? Lunch together, would you like to having, to have, to has, to have. Three, two, one. Time is up. Okay, everybody answer. Good. So the correct answer was have. Okay, have. Would you like to have? Okay, remember that we use the verb in the base form, no modifications. Next question, we go with the question number two, quickly. Would 
you like to come to my grandparents' anniversary tonight? Sure, I'd do. And love like have. Okay, the answer was, would you, well, here, um, if you say like, it's okay. It's under, it's, it's also possible. But because of the emotion, the person said, yes, I love to, right? It's an anniversary, but um, I like to, it's okay. Um, but if you want to express that you really want something, like a big yes, you say, I love to. You are really excited. Would you like to? Went surfing, going surfing, going. I mean, going surf, going surfing, or go surfing with us. Would you like to? Why not? Sounds interesting. Okay, three, two, one. Time is up. question very good the correct answer was go surf we like to go surf like to go surfing okay you to the park with my classmates oh this is easy likes like do or want would you okay three two one time is up question and the correct answer was would you like okay would you like to go to the park excellent next would you like to help Ben cut the grass play the grass mow the lawn use the machine Time is up. We go to the next one. And the correct answer here was mow the lawn. Okay, mow the lawn. And that would be like podar el césped. Okay, um, next one. That's a new word for you, probably. Mow the lawn. Okay, piece of cake. You like to help me wash those dishes? Or why not? What is the verb that is missing at the beginning of the question? Three, two, one. Time's up. Excellent. The correct answer was would. Would you like? Okay, here we go. Would you like to eat out with me this afternoon? Thanks, but I, I have to take care of my little sister. I can, I can't, I don't want, I think so. Okay, time is up. We go with the next question. So, I can't, I can't. That was the correct answer. Okay, very good. I don't want. No quiero, no es una buena respuesta, okay? Uh, it is possible, but it's not good. Okay, would you like to do, play, playing, I mean, playing, jump, or play hopscotch with us? La Okay, 
three, two, one, time's up. So the correct answer was, would you like to play? Correct. Next one. Would you like to, uh, would you like to uh, watch, watching, to watching, watched horror movie with us on Halloween? Okay, three, two, one. Time is up. So we're going to go on with the next question. Okay, perfect. Next question, quickly. We're getting to the end, we're getting to the end. Would you like to come to our custom party this afternoon? Custom party. Sure, I love to, to, it, that. Only one is correct, remember. Three, two, one, let's go. The correct answer was, I love to. That's correct, I love to. Me encantaría, I love to. Or I like to, me gustaría. Good? Which one is correct? One question is correct. Would you like make lemonade with me? Would you like to make lemonade with me? Would you like making lemonade with me? Would you like to make lemonade with me? Hmm. Three, two, one, time is up. So we go, and it's a question, very good. So the second option was correct, okay? Would you like to make lemonade with me? That's correct. Here we go. Would you like to make bracelets? Sure, I love. Yes, I love to. Sorry, but I can't. Sure, I love to. I have to mow the lawn this afternoon. Three, two, one. It seems like a negative answer, right? Like the person doesn't say yes, I love. It. Okay, excellent. So sorry, but I can't. Uh-huh. Sorry, but I can't. It was a no. Okay. We're almost finished. Okay, quickly. Would you like to ride horses? Go to the horse field. Go to the horse races. Play horse. <laughs> Sorry, but I can't. I have to finish my homework. Here, more than one answer is possible. Okay, there is more than one answer possible. Three, two, one. Next question. Time is up. So here, um, go to the horse races, or would you like to uh, to the horse field? It's not so common. This one was the best option, but number two is also possible. Okay. Would you like to ride horses? Well, if you have horses, that's a good imitation. <laughs> okay. And let's go to the before last one. Would you like flying kites with us? Wait, would you like flying kites with us? Two or four. Uh, I think here there was a little mistake here. I forgot to attach the picture. And well, so yeah, in this case, that was, um, would you like to fly? Would you like to fly was, was the correct form. And the last one, would you like to bake a cake with mom and me? Yes, I like to, or I love to, I love to, or I love to. Easy. Three, two, one. Select your answer. 
here we go final question and the winners the top three according to the game i love to the last option very good so we finish the quiz and the winners are ten, 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 ten. everybody wins because everybody learn everybody play right but according to the scores we have Victoria, Ana Maria, and Veronica with a higher percentage. Well, Isaac is, has, and Lloyd have the same score as Veronica. So we have three people with the same score, four people with Ana Maria. Wow, that was really good. Excellent. Thank you so much for playing. Um, so we are going to turn on the cameras quickly for the picture, please. the last picture of this week, right? So we're going to take the evidence. <laughs> Robert is just smiling. Okay, excellent. Somebody left, somebody disconnected. Maybe they lost connection. Okay, Superman. Oh no, it's Isaac. Okay, here we go. Ready, set, go. Say cheese. Okay, don't move, don't move. One more, one more. I think Veronica was going to turn on the camera. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, we didn't have time to go to the beauty salon. So I was busy all day, so I didn't go to the barber shop. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, the normal picture. Well, the crazy picture, not normal. Celebration picture, like we did it. We almost finished one more week and you survive. <laughs> Okay, excellent. Nice to see you all, guys. Enjoy the weekend, but catch up. Okay, ponemos el día con la plataforma hasta la sección cuatro, right? Until the section number four. That is the 